are you all? So this is one of the craziest stories that I've come across all week, maybe in the past two weeks, which I'm glad to say that it has nothing to do with rioting. That is a relief. Um, but we're going to talk about the whole GameStop situation and I'll read you a few stories on it. I have an update on the story at the end and then we'll talk about sort of the cultural significance of this um, because I do think it's really interesting and I do think there is something significant about it moving forward. Uh, that being said, I know it's a shock to you, but I am not a financial expert. I am not a financial advisor. I am not an expert on Wall Street. I know no things Wall Street. And my financial plan is just I see something shiny and then I buy it. So I'm in no way giving financial advice. That's why we're focusing on the cultural part of it at the end. Um, just basically just telling you what happened. That's it. This is pure entertainment and conversation purposes, nothing more. And I don't know what the financial significance of any of this is or the future of Wall Street because of this. That is not my level of expertise. And I'm also not condoning what these people are doing because it could be a really bad idea for a lot of people and I don't know anything about it. We're just talking about what happened and then we'll talk about other things at the end. That's it. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, GameStop short squeeze, here's what market watchers are saying. And, and this is from fortune.com. I'm just gonna read you a few paragraphs and then I'll link to the full article below. Uh, I just, I really like how they wrote this out. Uh, it's one of the craziest Wall Street battles in years. Retail investors fueled by social media chatter have been dueling with hedge funds over the price of fading video game seller GameStop. The tussle broke out earlier this month when retail investors on a Reddit social media forum began hailing GameStop over oh began hailing GameStop as a winner even though the company seemed to be going the way of Blockbuster. This caused the share price to soar, leaving hedge funds who had bet against the stock in a short squeeze forcing them to buy GameStop shares to cover their position and driving the price still higher. All of this had left market watchers transfixed as GameStop shares had, pinged, had pinged around crazily from $60 to $300 and battered some familiar Wall Street names, including hedge fund Melvin Capital and Citron, which on Tuesday threw in the towel on their short position after massive losses. Meanwhile, Tesla CEO Elon Musk added to the craziness with a tweet linking the Reddit forum that drove GameStop shares up still higher. So he tweeted out this, GameStunk, that's what people were saying on Twitter. So apparently just a few weeks ago, GameStop was, or Ga GameStop, GameStop, had stock shares at $20 a share, and it closed today at $347 a share. Crazy. Now, what I think happened, allegedly, is that one of these Reddit users, or maybe a few of them, noticed that the people, that the GameStop stock was like 85% owned by short sellers, and that's when they were like, hmm, Let's see what happens if we can get a bunch of people to buy the stock. And that's basically what they did. And this is sort of like one of the first populist movements in finance that I've seen. So let's look at some reactions from people here. Uh, various head funds are still short tens of millions of shares of GameStop. They are having a bad day. Uh, Tim Poole, you know him, the left and the right populists are both celebrating the crushing of hedge funds by Wall Street bets with GameStop, and I love it. Um, Lawrence Lewitton, Wall Street bets on Reddit put more fear into hedge funds than Occupy Wall Street, the squad, Bernie Sanders, and higher capital gains taxes combined. <laughs> um... Uh, this person, let's see, Jeremy C. Owen said, I get that people think it's funny when bad things happen to Wall Street types, but this GameStop thing is not a joke. These, these are stock traders conspiring to manipulate the markets and open view of us all and using that, nah, it's for the lulls and the other side sucks as an excuse. And then Preston Byron said, Reddit will be receiving subpoenas guaranteed. You even had the head of NASDAQ today 
on, I can't remember what channel it was, but I have the story right here. The head of NASDAQ in response to this called for more regulations uh, to manage the situation. And what's really interesting is this is what people do all the time. Um, it's just the little guy that did it and not the big Wall Street people, which is what's pretty interesting about this whole situation uh, but there is kind of an update and are we surprised i don't think so so this is the verge discord bans um the wall street bets server so the wall street bets that's where the sort of reddit community was where they were all talking about this and discord just banned this today uh, interesting timing. They said that they banned it due to hate speech that was going back and forth on the chat or on the the chat or whatever it is. Uh, what did they say? Uh, their full statement was the server has been on our trust and safety team's radar for some time now due to occasional content that violates our community guidelines including hate speech glorifying violence and spreading misinformation over the past few months we have issued multiple warnings to the server admin um the wall street bets describes itself as like 4chan found a bloomberg terminal and many comments on the subreddit couldn't contain offensive language okay so that's what they say it got banned today for offensive language which could be true i don't know i've never been but that is what is happening right now um let me know your thoughts on everything what's really interesting about this and i've been seeing this happen more and more and more i've seen sort of left um, people on the left and people on the right coming together with one common goals they might not believe in everything you know I, I might not agree with all of the policies they agree with, but, but what I think is cool and how we can move forward are focusing on the one thing that we do have in common. Oh, we have this in common. We both want this. Okay, let's go after it. Let's go after it and get this, this one goal and then we'll move from there. And we saw that actually the first time I noticed it was with the stimulus checks and President Trump sort of outlefted the left. They wanted to do $600 stimulus checks and he said, no, we're doing 2000 and he ended up agreeing with the far left. Uh, you had uh, Alexandra AOC saying that she was for $2,000 stimulus checks. Ihan Omar, Bernie Sanders, uh, the first time I agreed with any of these people. So I think, you know, and, and this is the same thing. You see this, what Tim Pool said, this little populist movement from people on the on the left and the right both agree, hey, uh, let's, let's stick it to the man or whatever. And I guess that's what they were attempting to do. I don't know if they did that. Seems a few people were shaking their boots a little bit today. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that story. I'm sure more will be developing. I hope I explained that well enough and I didn't miss anything. Was there anything else I wanted to say? No, there's not. I just checked. Okay, see you later. Bye.